So you're new to Final Fantasy 14, maybe you've been playing for a week. Not long enough for your real life friends to quit on you, but it's coming. At least one of you won't be able to escape. You've been seeing other players around in cool gear and if you're anything like me when I was a Sprout, you really want to look cool like them. Yeah, yeah, I get it. You've heard it from everyone. Just play the MSQ. That's the most valuable use of your time, which is true. But you can't help but think, hey, Maybe I'd enjoy the MSQ a little more if I looked like the main character instead of, you know, a wizard that failed culinary school. Unfortunately, early on in the game, it seems you don't have many appealing glamour options. But don't fear, I, a seasoned drip veteran of Eorzea, is here to help. I will guide you through the sea of mediocrity that is early game glamour and get you looking extra swagged out for your continued questing through Realm Reborn, propelling you to new fashion heights that a failed chef could only dream of. Need only to remember one thing on your quest for drip. Swag. So what? Awesome gear. This will be your mantra, your words to live by. In your darkest moments, remember swag, and it will help inspire you to push through and rise up as the coolest looking sprout in all the forests of Gridania. First off, I'll quickly show you how to unlock glamour. If you already know and just want to skip to the drip, I've got the whole video chaptered out. Do you have Glamour unlocked? If not, talk to Swergium, kind of like Swagium, near the Waking Sands. She's got the quest to unlock Glamour and dies. Just don't spill the orange juice on the way back to her. <laughs> Wait, so she just wants me to get her some orange juice? Nothing better on a hot day. That's what I'm saying. This beautiful day. Okay, now that you've unlocked Glamouring, you're gonna need Glamour Prisms and probably Dispellers. Prisms let you glam things. Dispellers make them go away. I get mine from Grand Company Seals. You might have that unlocked yet, but it's pretty simple to do. Worst case scenario, you should have 12 prisms as reward for helping Swaggyum get some vitamin C earlier. You can glam from your menu, costing one prism every time, or store items in the glam dresser at the end, effectively only using one prism to store it and letting you glam that item infinitely through this method. Okay, now for the swag. At level 15, you unlock Hall of the Novice. Here, they'll try and teach you how to play this game, but let's face it, you're already watching this banger of a video, so you're already infinitely smarter than the game expects you to be. These are the reward sets for completing the hall. I'm partial to the casting top here, but you're a solid new adventurer type beat looks. You also get a ring that gives you bonus XP at low levels, which can be useful, especially if you're planning on trying another job soon. Also at level 15, you can go to Ulda and talk to the well-heeled youth to unlock the gold saucer. Here you can do all kinds of fun things and earn a currency called MGP, which is exchanged for a variety of items. Here are some glam pieces you can get here. A lot of them give me rich farmer vibes or stepped up fantasy casual, but there's also a lot of silly outfits like this pig suit. I highly recommend looking up the fashion report. You can easily net yourself a bunch of MGP just by doing that. Just know that from now on, your life and mood are now dictated by how lucky your mini cack pot is. Now for the truly coolest gear you can get early on. You'll have to be level 30 and complete the quest A Pup No Longer, which will be located in your grand company area. It's time to prove that you've got that dog in you. Upon completion, you'll unlock the Wolves Den and PVP. Now don't freak out when you zone in. Yeah, your hot bars are changed because PVP has its own actions, but remember, swag. To get the wolf marks needed for your gear, you just play PvP. Easiest ways to hop in are Frontline Daily and the Crystal Conflict, which is pretty fun in my opinion. Quartermaster has a bunch of gear, but the only stuff you can use for now are the Genyo, Republican, and Late Elegant sets. They're all pretty cool with different aesthetics. I dig the Metal Gear Rising vibes of the Late Elegant set. I never thought about it, but you could technically get this glam. You'll just have to do the Battle Pass in PvP, which is free and you'll be able to glam this artifact gear super early on. It's crazy you could do this, honestly. There are only a few other methods to get gear early on in the game, namely dungeons, but that stuff is mostly ugly in A Realm Reborn. At around level 45 to 50, if you've been keeping up with your job quests, you'll unlock your first artifact set, the kind with the actual stats, not the glam version from PvP. They're essentially the flagship outfit for whatever job you're playing. They're all pretty cool, and after this point, things really start to open up option-wise for glam. Hopefully, your journey to becoming a Final Fantasy XIV glam god is a smooth and fun ride, and hopefully, you've learned something today. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you'd like to see more, subscribe. If you're not a new player and watched all the way to this point, what are you doing here? You might as well leave any glam tips you have for the sprouts in the comments below. Now lastly to any new players out there curious what the PvP or Gold Saucer look like, 
you should check out these two videos. Maybe they can save you some time. Thanks for watching. Remember swag, and I'll see you in the next one.